The New York Knicks reportedly have come to terms with Phil Jackson, reportedly in the range of 12 to 15 million annually, huge deal, Get that money, to take bro. over the team, basically. <laughs> Guys, Mike Woodson came out with a pretty bold, bold statement the other day, endorsed the Phil Jackson signing. Do you agree with Woodson here? Do you think Phil Jackson, although he's never run a front office before, obviously we know what he's done on the coaching side, do you feel like Phil Jackson is the man to step in here? Phil's the man to step in anywhere. Because, anywhere. Well, here's the thing. Phil Jackson offers stability, which, as Jeff can tell you, the New York Knicks aren't exactly too good in that department. And yeah. that's, you know, stability allows you to lessen your dysfunction, okay? And if it's Phil who's but, respected, then, you but know, Phil that's, not, that's the good version. He of not only allows stability, I feel, you know, he's going to allow for progress. So you remember... With the 2000 Lakers, that team wasn't, you know, too good coming in. Phil Jackson steps in to win a championship. So I feel if you, you know, give Phil a mop, he can kind of clean up that Knicks mess that he's got now going right my, there. Now, now, here's my problem. This is the biggest challenge in Phil Jackson's entire career, okay? Oh, no doubt. Entire career. He's not he's got coaching a lot, this team. He's got a lot of questions to he's, answer. And, and here's the thing. I don't know what Phil's like as an advisor. We're, Phil's not like Bill Belichick or something where he put those Bulls teams together. He put those Lakers teams together. Phil pretty much was like, hey, Tex, you were going to run this triangle with these, you know, greatest freaking wing player <laughs> in, in, in the game right now. And, you know, let's run, win these championships. Stack, stack, stack. Look, Phil, last advisory role he had was telling Joe Dumars, hey, you know, you know. And you're like absolutely this. right. And we, we've time. not seen Phil step into a you know, front office vision. It's going to be something new. He's got a lot of challenges. First, you know, the Carmelo Anthony, are they going to sign him? They're going to go out free agency and test the markets. He's cleaning up the salary cap, finding a new coach. You know, Can he do There's a lot things? of talks about Steve Kerr becoming the new Knicks head coach. A lot of questions to answer. Who knows if the Knicks will win You know, their first championship since the Nixon administration. I'm not talking Any time, 10 years, going down the road. Look, I, I think respectability is where we need to go with the Knicks. And, and Phil Jackson brings talk, that. Phil he, Jackson, he because he James Dolan has respect. lost all the respect from all New York fans. So bringing Phil Jackson, is, like you said, brings that stability to the Knicks with all that dysfunction going on. Yeah. Going off what Darian said, if James Dolan gives Phil Jackson full autonomy, I could see him doing a lot with this team. The Knicks have a ton of cap room clearing up in about a year. Are they going to resign Carmelo Anthony? Some questions there. LeBron? But I trust Phil Jackson Carmelo. to get the job Kevin done. Kevin Durant, 2016?